Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Madalina, an artist and illustrator based in Italy and today I'll show you how I organize all my art supplies. If you love buying and testing many different tools and media like me, then you'll have the same problem, which is not having enough space to organize everything and have everything under eye. It can happen that you buy things you already have because you can't really see all the supplies you have in your house. After years of extreme shopping and clutter, I finally found some good solutions to store all my tools in a small place. The first most important place for my art tools is this old IKEA cabinet. I'm sure there are now better solutions for the same price and size, but this is what I found in the apartment where I live, so I have to keep it. On the left side I have all my watercolors and gouache starting from the two Arteza boxes that I rarely use. In fact, I'm thinking about giving them away. I also have this wooden box with some graphite tools that I bought for a few euros in a little supermarket. But again, I don't use it as often as I should and this is why it's on the top shelf so I can see it very well. Here are all my watercolor paint sets. I put the bigger ones in this bamboo dish rack, which I paid like 4 euros on AliExpress, while the smaller ones are stacked on the side. Before having this holder, all the sets were on the same shelf, but every time I wanted to take one of them, the others risked to fall down. By the way, I used to customize all my paint sets, because I don't like the color selection of the standard ones. If you want to know more about this topic, let me know in the comments, so I'll do a video in the future. On the shelf below, I put all the watercolor tubes and other accessories related to watercolors, such as masking fluid, a dropper, an empty spray bottle, some natural sponges, and the Faber Castell Click and Go water cup that I use when I paint outside. As for the tubes, I divided them by brand, so in this box I put all my Albain tubes, here are all the core tubes, and in a bigger transparent box, I put all my Daniel Smith tubes. You can use the same type of boxes with labels on top, or you can use different boxes like me and distinguish them at sight. Honestly, I don't like attaching labels because I often change the placement of my stuff. I also use this pencil holder from IKEA to put all the other brands. On this shelf, I have all my favorite gouache tubes. I find this transparent makeup bag very useful for carrying the tubes, since I can see almost all the colors inside. I think I'm going to buy another one for the other tubes I have. Here I put also two boxes of pastel colors that I don't use very often and having them inside reminds me that I shouldn't buy more. On the other top shelf, I put all my acrylics and all the brushes I use for acrylic painting. Again, this is a medium that I don't use very often, so I put it on the higher space of the cabinet. Below, I have all my watercolor palettes. I put the porcelain ones in another bamboo rack that suits very well. I think this is the best tool that you can use to storage your palettes. On the side, I have two bigger plastic palettes. Then, here I have all my pencils, stamps and erasers in these two jars. I also bought two pencil holders, where I can distinguish between different sizes of inking pens, mechanical pencils and pencil leads. I prefer this solution to organize pen and pencils, because I can get a clear idea of the quantity for each tool, so I know which things I should buy more or less, and which things I use more than others. On this shelf I also have some brush pens for lettering, such as the tumbles that I put in a simple mug. Then I use this fancy makeup organizer to put all those little things that can get lost very fast, such as the extra watercolor pens, the brush cards that I use when I wash the larger brushes, some empty pens that I usually fill with tube colors, and other small gadgets like pins that I got from other artists. I also have this empty drawer, so there is still room for other shopping. On this last shelf I have all my inks. The fancy boxes are calligraphy sets that I received for my last birthday, while the central box contains all my painting inks. 
I kept all the Icala boxes because I can clearly see how the inks look on paper and how I can use the color combination of each set. I also have other brand inks that I usually use for line art or details. So that's it, this is the most important cabinet in my studio and it's not even chock full of our supplies since I use a third of it for household stuff. This is the other place where I keep my art supplies and it's part of the bookcase that I made using the very cheap shelving units from IKEA. On top I have almost all my sketchbooks, both for watercolors and drawing, while below I have all my markers. I kept this large box from Arteza because it's very useful to store all the markers and to see them very well, even if it takes a lot of space. Then I used this nice pencil case for different old brand markers and in the end I bought a marker bag for all my copics. Here I have also two roll-up pencil cases. The first is from Dervent where I put all my Dervent watercolor pencils, while the second one is handmade and it contains my old Prisma colors. I don't use these pencils anymore and I think I'll give them away very soon to make room for other tools that I really need. The best part about these shelves, aside from the price, is that they don't have a bottom, so I can also put larger things like paper pads. So these are the two places in my studio where I keep my art supplies. But there's a little part also on my working table that I put in my living room because of the better lighting. Here I have my wooden brush organizer that my dad built for me a while ago. I sort all my brushes by categories to facilitate my choice. First I have my natural brushes, then all my synthetic brushes, the brand new brushes, the largest brushes, the inking brushes, and the old brushes mixed with the nib holders. But if you have pets or if you want to put your brushes away, I have these solutions for you. You can use this plastic brush case and put it away in a drawer or in a cabinet. It's very cheap and you can put it anywhere. Or you can use a roll-up case like the ones I showed you before, or a rigid folder like this one. I also found a nice solution from a makeup brand that is a faux leather brush cup holder. I like it more than the plastic one because it's larger and more stable on the flat surfaces, but it's also more expensive. Last but not least, this is what I use to organize all my color pencils. It's a wooden organizer with three drawers, but you can find it also with four or more drawers. I find it very useful to sort all my pencils by brand and color. At the same time, it's also easier now to find the color that I need. So these are my solutions for organizing all my art supplies and I hope that you can get some useful tips from this video. I'd also love to know your hacks about studio organization, so maybe I can also improve my studio too. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye!